Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gemma, and in today's video I wanted to talk over some of the books I've been reading recently. I've kind of drifted back to reading and I didn't really want to do like a monthly TBR wrap up, so I'm wrapping this up as a whole kind of summer book reviews, what I'm currently reading and then what is on my TBR at the moment. So the first book that I got through and enjoyed this summer was Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. As with any other Cassandra Clare book, I enjoyed it. I have mixed feelings about Cassie, but um, I like her books and I will continue to buy her books because I like the characters that she creates. I actually read this on holiday whilst Chris and I were in Turkey, so I have very fond memories of this book. Another book that I read recently is The Magical Art of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I still don't have this book. I actually own it, but I keep it in Chris's car. It's a long story. I don't actually have it to show you guys. It's just a great way to learn how to be clean and tidy and how to kind of incorporate that into your life. I think I'll be making a video soon on how to clean using the KonMari method, which is basically from that book, so stay tuned. A non-fiction book that I've loved recently is Almost Adulting by Arden Rose. This was just a really fun, easy book to read. I enjoyed it because it kind of made me feel like an adult, but also it didn't make me feel bad for being in that stage between adolescence and adulthood and not having everything completely figured out. So this I really liked. It was such an easy read and I actually picked this up from Urban Outfitters. And I also really like Autumn Rose. I really like her. I think she's cute and sweet and funny. So yeah. The next two books that I got through you guys will probably heard of. It was Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne by Kenda Blake. I've had Three Dark Crowns since before it came out. This isn't the copy that I read, this is the nice finished copy that I was sent, but I actually read the ARC version of this. I've been trying to get through this for god knows how long, like probably over a year, you guys probably would have known. So I recently finished it finally and then I got One Dark Throne. I don't think this is out yet, but I found it in bookstores. I found it in foils. I think that the books and the characters and the world just has so much potential, but the author really lets herself down just by like the lack of world building. There are a few things that happen towards the end of the second book that kind of have no explanation and they're written really really poorly when it's like a good turning point in the book. I think overall I'd probably give these two books two and a half maybe three stars which really makes me sad because I do really genuinely think that these books have so much potential. I think the world is lacking depth. A lot of the time it just focuses on the three sisters and like their immediate kind of family, like the immediate people around them, but there is an entire island and you don't really get to explore it even though you're jumping between these three different places on the island. I just think there's so much room for improvement, but I will continue to read this series. So moving on to books I'm currently reading, I've got one non-fiction and it is Control or Delete How I Grew Up Online by Emma Gannon. I'm probably about 20% of the way through this. I do really enjoy it and even though Emma is quite a bit older than me, there are things that I can kind of relate to growing up on the internet before it became like this whole massive thing like MySpace and Bevo and MSN and things like that. So it's quite nice to kind of reminisce and look back on the way that technology and the internet is advancing so quickly. And also it makes me feel really old even though I'm only 21. So hopefully I will finish this soon. A book that I'm planning on starting today is Lee Bardugo's Wonder Woman Warbringer. I am so excited for this. Lee Bardugo is one of my favourite authors and I love Wonder Woman so much, so it's two of my favourite things together. So this book follows Diana who is obviously Wonder Woman and she breaks Amazonian law to save a mortal. Alia, Alia, I'm not sure, she's a war bringer and she is a descendant of the infamous Helen of Troy which has got me really excited. To save the world they must stand side by side against the tide of war, so I will let you guys know my thoughts on it. And the last book on my TBR is A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludecki. I'm pretty sure I butchered her name, I'm so sorry if I did. 
So I just received the finished copy from Scholastic and it's so beautiful and just amazing. I'm incredibly excited to read this. I think I'm going to the book launch in London. If any of you guys are going, I will see you there. So 17 years before this book, the sky turns red, which is a warning and a plague comes and takes out basically her entire village, including her mother. And I think this book follows her basically trying to stop that from happening again. I'm really excited for this. I don't think there's anything out there that sounds like this, at least I haven't seen it. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm super proud of Lisa. If you guys wanna keep up with kind of my thoughts and things like that, then follow me on my Twitter or my Instagram where I post most. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.